God bless you today, Pastor Daniel Ortega, author of Satan's Puppet to God's Prophet. Go ahead and search that on Amazon. Buy your copy today. Make sure to leave a review and connect with me if you want to get some more details on that book. I also give gift cards and deals on other curriculum that's going to be coming up in these next few months. But first, buy that book, leave a review. And today I want to speak about prospering in 2023 or becoming rich in 2023 before you start writing me off as a prosperity message or this is a prosperity message i want to read to you a scripture in, in deuteronomy 28 1 through 14 i'm going to read the beginning portion of the scripture it reads like this if you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands, I give you today all these blessings will come on you and overtake you. If you obey the Lord your God, you will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. The fruit of your room will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. The Lord will grant you the enemies who rise against you, your haters will they will be granted to you. You will be defeated before you. They will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction. Flee in seven. The Lord will send blessing on everything you put your hand to. You can read the rest yourself. Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14. Today I want to talk about becoming rich in the year 2023. And what I believe what God wants us to do is He wants to bless us in this year. He wants to bless us in 2023. He wants us to go from glory to glory to glory. So what do we have to do? The scripture clearly tells us that we have to obey the Lord and obey His commands. What does that mean, Pastor Daniel? What that means is do what Jesus did. It's that simple. Do what the apostles did. Do what Jesus did on earth. What did he do? The Bible said that he went and he preached the gospel. You don't have to be an ordained minister. You don't have to be a preacher on a stage or a pulpit to preach the gospel. But share the message. What's the message? The message is repent and God will give you his righteousness. God will give you, God will give you a clean slate and a new opportunity. And he, when he looks at you, he will see a child. He will see a son or a daughter of the utmost king. I don't care how rich your, your family is. I don't care how poor your family is. When you come into the kingdom of God, God becomes your father. And that's a that's a, a, a lineage. That's a legacy that you could walk with your head held high because God is our father and we are in a new family. So what do we do to be blessed in 2023? What do we do to be rich in 2023? As we walk in obedience, we do what Jesus did. We do what the apostles did. We follow the scriptures. We read the scriptures and we allow the Holy Spirit to, to guide our steps. We allow the Holy Spirit to guide our steps. We allow the Holy Spirit to open up doors that he wants us to walk through. We allow the Holy Spirit to close doors that he no longer wants us to be in. In 2023, I believe God wants to bless us, that God wants us to bless us going in and coming out. That means you're going in to new situations. That means you're going into new organizations. That means you're going into new companies, new levels. You're going in. And I hate to tell you, that also means we're coming out. The Bible says we're going to be blessed going in and blessed coming out. You may be coming out of a situation, you may be coming out of a company, you may be coming out into a season that, that's coming to a close and you may feel scary, it may feel un, un, unknown, that you don't know what the future holds, but the Bible says you're going to be blessed coming out. Type amen if you believe what, believe what I'm saying. But I want to give you something very, very, very crucial to being blessed in 2023. It's this, is sometimes we have to lose hope. That sounds counterproductive, Pastor Daniel. What do you mean lose hope? Let me tell you this. Hope sometimes has us clinging on and, and hope has us clinging on to situations, things, people, and believing that it's going to turn around. That's what hope does. It gives, it buys more time. It buys more energy. It buys more resources. Sometimes we have so much hope that we're pouring in more resources to an to an organization, to a, a relationship, to a situation. We're pouring in our resources, our time, and we're when we have hope that things are going to turn out for the better. But sometimes we have to lose hope. 
we have to lose hope and we have to close that door and we have to close that chapter and we say, you know what? I don't think it's going to work. There's times when, we're, when, when hope is good for us and there's times when hope is bad for us. When is hope bad for us? Let me say, let me say for an instance. For instance, you're, you're in a marriage and or your child is on drugs and alcohol. And we keep having hope. And sometimes what we do is we enable we enable our spouse or we can enable our, our child by continually to give finances, continually to have that door open, continually to have that relationship open. When hope sometimes says, you know what? You need help. Sometimes we need to go to rehab. Sometimes you need to say, you know what? I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm going here for a moment. And you need to deal with this situation. You need to deal with this addiction. You need to deal with this, with these, with what you've gotten yourself into, and that sometimes allows the child, sometimes allows the spouse, sometimes allows the family member, the brother, the sister, the uncle, to realize, whoa, 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 I'm losing my support system. I'm losing my financial stability. I'm losing everything that I ha- that I obtained, and the and the the hope is lost. And it's a reality check and eyes are open and change begins to happen. But hope sometimes is good. For instance, Jeff Bezos, we all know who he is now, one of the richest men on the earth. But Amazon, founded in 1994, let me read something to you, did not profit until 2001. That's seven years. Investors and the market were losing hope and giving Jeff Bezos a very hard time as he continued to have hope and tried to convince others to have hope as well. Time would help and was built into his business model. He maintained hope as others lost it. And now Amazon is one of the world's most thriving companies. So he kept hope when others was losing hope. But us, getting back to 2023, how are we going to do this? We have to lose hope in ourselves. We have to lose hope and do it on our own. We have to lose hope and say, I can do this in the flesh. No, we can't. We've tried it in our own flesh. We've tried it with our own ideas. We've tried it in our own strength. And now our hope has to be in God. Our hope has to be in Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14. God, I want to prosper. God, I want to be rich. So what am I going to do? I'm going to lose hope in my own ways, in my own will, and I'm going to give it to God. I'm going to say, God, I'm going to obey you. I'm going to do what you tell me to do. I'm going to follow the way you want me to follow. I'm going to walk this straight and narrow path. And I understand that what your word says is if I do this, if I obey the Lord, and I obey your commands. I'll be blessed going in. I'll be blessed coming out. This is how me and you obtain favor. This is how me and you obtain blessings. This is how me and you can get rich in 2023. I'm not only talking financially rich. I'm talking about in our family being rich. I'm talking about in our spirit being rich. I'm talking about in our mentality being rich. I'm talking about having peace that surpasses all understanding. No worries. No no anxiety. No No pressure on our shoulders that we can't hold up on ourselves. No, but I have the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. And I know that God is turning all things around for the good for those who love Him. And I love God. And in 2023, I'm pursuing God. In 2023, I'm obeying God. I'm doing all that I can to see what God's will for me to come to pass. So in 2023, I want you to be rich. I want you to prosper i want you to go forward in jesus name so what do we have to do we have to obey and then number two we have to lose hope in our in our own ways we have to lose lose hope in situations that we that we continue to have hope and you know what it's time to close that chapter you know what it's time to let the well run dry in that situation and say you know what i tried i did my best but let's see let's see what god has in this next chapter let's see what god has in this next season because hope remember it'll have us waste time it'll have us waste energy it will have us waste resources is it time to close that chapter only you know is it time to close that chapter is it time to give it to god and say god what's that next season what's that next what's that next chapter look like so 2023 is short a short devotion. I hope it 
blessed you remember go to amazon search satan's puppets of god's prophet and tell me what you think in the comments